Hey guys, welcome back to numerologist.com. It's me, Vanessa from Beyond Your Sun Sign. This is your reading for the week of March 29th to April 5th. Let's get started. So first, as always, you want to get completely grounded. Just take a couple deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. it all out, releasing everything from last week. We are going to get started. Okay, so now from one to three, I want you guys to pick a card. Card one, card two, or card three. Okay, so if you chose card three this week, March 29th to April 5th, you are moving on from something. So the swords represents our thoughts. So it may not be physically moving on, but you're starting to think, okay, I, I need to leave this behind. I need to move on. You're really considering other people when it comes to you moving forward. Um, it's not just you. As you notice in this card, it's this is represents you, the, the card holder. And then these two people are the people that you care about. So it would be like a wife and child um, or family, you know, just people that you take care of. And you're the one doing all the hard work. Another thing with this card that I always notice is that this guy has some obstacles to step over, right? And this plank here where he's stepping over it, he can't see what's at the bottom. He has no idea what's going on. There's so much darkness. So although he knows that he needs to take a step forward, he doesn't know what that entails, what that could lead to, where, where that can drop him into. And he's just having blind faith because if you notice over here, the water is very rocky and then over here, it's all calm. So although he has no idea what he's moving toward, he knows that it's ultimately better than the rough terrain that he's been struggling with right now. So this week, guys, if you have been struggling um, a bit, you're realizing now that it's time that you need to just move on, that it's almost like your responsibility and your duty to move on and move forward with something. And I'm just telling you guys right now, if you do make the action to move on, uh, it will be a positive experience because you're initiating that change in a positive way. Okay. So if you chose card two, we have the partnership card. So it's interesting because my husband was just looking at this card yesterday and I always read this line in the middle as Leo. Um, I always think of it as like a pride thing, as you know, the, the Leo energy attached to a relationship, which is when you think about a Leo, they're king of the rock. They're, they're very proud. They're very pride um, of their kingdom, of what they rule, aka their family and their environment. So if you're finding that your relationship is bringing a lot of ruling energy where you find that your partner is trying to, you know, overbear and over over um, emphasize their responsibilities and over emphasize who they are to you in a relationship. This is the time to sort that balance out because Aries season is all about number one. Aries season is all about independence and leadership within a partnership, within a partnership. So this is the week, guys, April, uh, March 29th to April 5th, to look at your relationships and where is it more ego focused? Where is it more about the other person being and you putting them on this pedestal and you kind of bowing down to them? Now, this is the week to start to balance that out and to say, hey, listen, I have needs. I have independence that I want. I am in charge of what I need as well, and I matter. And that can really quick, uh, create some positive shifts, especially after that full moon in Libra that probably, you know, really created a lot of shifts in your relationships. So if you chose card three, we have the eight of wands, which is all about opportunities. So these opportunities will come vastly. They will come intensely and they will seem like they come out of absolutely nowhere. You're going to have a lot of um, sifting through. Like I have a feeling you're going to be going through a lot of emails and through those emails, there's a lot of opportunities in each one, but you want to go with the one that you're most drawn to. You're going to go with the one that says, okay, no, I'm not going to click that ad for, you know, this, but you know, this masterclass seems interesting. And that's something that will um, empower me or, or this uh, event seems very interesting, a great place for me to network. You have a lot of opportunities here that you need to sift through and decide which one you want to go forward uh, with and, and embrace. And that will bring a lot of power, authority, control, and financial abundance if you do stick with that path. Okay, so I hope you guys have an amazing week. I will see you next week. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and turn on that notification bell. Bye guys, love you so much.